guys, welcome to another Summer Guys production. I come back with this show. Hi guys, welcome to another Summer Guys production video. Alright, today I'm going to have a look at the, um... Hi guys. Yeah, welcome to another Pete Carey 12 Productions video. This is going to be one of those videos talking about a little topic that it's a little bit touchy at the moment. And that is, for us people in worldwide, not the guys in the US obviously, but that is the delay of the iPad. Now, as you know, the US has apparently sold over 500,000 units and from what Apple said in their statement is basically they weren't prepared for it and they weren't provide they wouldn't weren't prepared for the damn bloody demand uh, so they held off and delayed the so-called worldwide spread of the iPad the Wi-Fi edition now in two weeks it was meant to actually be released end of April now the news, if you don't know what I'm talking about, here is what I'm talking about. Check it out. It's the iPad's international release. It's been delayed by Apple. It won't be till the end of May. Pre-orders happen on the 10th of May. Making it a six-week delay. Hello. What the fuck? Come on. Why Apple would do this? Well, I know why they would do this. Uh, it's blatantly obvious they done this because of the overwhelming amount of iPads sold on or at the US, obviously. Now, this will either be a smart thing or be their undoing worldwide. You have no idea how many people in Australia alone want an iPad. Uh, I get... <laughs> I, I go out in public, basically, with my iPad, and I, the amount of random people come up to me and ask, how is it, can I have a touch of it, or whatever, is phenomenal. Every man and his dog knows what an iPad is. Old, young... Men with dogs, women with dogs, probably a dog if it spoke. <laughs> there is so many people here that want an iPad, it's not funny. But I have to say with this article, it also talks about the 3G version coming as well. Micro sims are not available. In Australia, there is no phone here that has micro sims. Now, I know it's basically a sim card cut down. Now, if you've got the exact measurements, you can just cut a normal sim down or micro sim size. But the point is, when the iPad 3G comes into Australia, or most countries, it will actually be the first time a micro sim device has come into the country. So that may open a lot of new devices that may be available in the country. As far as I know, because we have so many 3G networks here in Australia that are actually good and have massive coverage, uh, unlike a certain one that's in the US, <coughs> TNT, um, that is pretty crap, uh, I just have to say, we won't have the opportunity of having a lock an unlocked device. I think we're looking at a locked device per telco because there's so many telcos, it's not funny. I'm hoping Apple will have a solution to that and actually be able to send out unlocked versions in Australia because it's going to really suck if we have to go to the telco and say, I'm going to pay 80 or $150 for an unlocking fee to get the iPad unlocked to put any SIM in it. Because that's just going to suck. Honestly, it's going to suck. But anyway, on a lighter note, we won't see the iPhone, th the iPad, sorry, 3G till June. All I'm going to say 
is fuck you, Apple, for doing that. I know because you so-called didn't know what was going to happen, but seriously, fuck you. People are really pissed because of this. I'm not one of them, even though I seem pissed right now. But nonetheless, okay. <laughs> no. Anyway, no, seriously, with all matter, I'm not actually saying that as my matter of opinion, but on behalf of everyone here in Australia, that's pretty much the attitude uh, towards Apple at this point. Because of the iPad being so long to be delayed, it's not funny. But on the brighter note, you have no idea how many people in Australia are now importing the iPad. I can tell you what, when the iPad's available here, I don't think there's going to be a lineup. <laughs> if there is a lineup, it's because it's a midnight launch. Because we have midnight launches here in Australia. If they don't have that, it's going to be like the iPhone 3GS, where we just turn up and pick one up. I really doubt there's going to be a lineup. Maybe there is, possibly because it's the first time this device ever existed. Um, and we may see some sort of lineup like the iPhone 3G when that first came out. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on this. But you guys, tell me what you think. Read this article. I'll put the link in the description. This is from BBC News. So they're a reliable source of stuff like that. Uh, so check it out. Tell if you're from Australia or any other country uh, that's not the US... Tell us how you feel in this. Leave your comments below. Leave a video response even on your thoughts of this thing that's happened to us all. The iPad being delayed. Leave your thoughts down there and I'll see you guys later. It's Carry 12 signing off, so cheers.